Hey guys, and welcome back to Yak Wax Lips. My name is Michael, your point and click adventurer, and this is episode 4 of Let's Play Yesterday. In the previous episode, we are no longer the hero Henry, because it looks like he's the buddy. We are this guy instead, which I think his name was John yesterday. And so we're in Paris to try and discover, I think it was an undercover cult. Does that sound right? Let's find out. Right. As you gaze at the drawing, something comes back to you. Your secret is safe with me, Monsieur Yesterday. I'll keep it from I'll keep it from any anyone who doesn't say these two words, including if it is you. Well, that was a bit weird. Picture opens like a door, and I presume there's a I presume there's a code. You try to force it open by sticking your fingernails under the edge, but as one would expect, it doesn't open. What happens if I look at it? What did you hide in there? Let's um, let's have a look at the rest of the room. That is a pad and pen, a notebook, a fountain pen, courtesy of the hotel. You are grateful for Hotel Dor Dores? Thoughtfulness, Dores, Dore. I don't know. Oh, that's so. That's what we've got. Anything in here already? Nothing. Pen? Nothing. Uh, here's my suitcase. Hopefully hopefully it's got some clothes in. You're so fascinated by the memories the room triggers to think about anything in the suitcase. Right, okay, so that did not help. This is one of those clickety-clack things. You move one of the balls and... <laughs> it moves. Amazing. Perpetuum mobile, perpetual motion. All right. Clanging the balls puts you on edge, so I'm going to stop it. Fair enough. Look at these other pictures. Werewolf. You left the picture in case there's something behind it, and in fact there is. Oh, you left. Sorry, not you left. Um, the wall. Okay. That's a pretty cool picture. Do you like that? The hand by Sean Rogue. You lift the picture in case there's something behind it, and in fact, there is a wall. What about this one? Is that the same? An original sketch by Albin Grell for the movie Nosferatu, the Vampire from 1922. And again, the wall. We didn't say what this was, did we? Let's have a look at it. A werewolf howling at the moon. No artist for that one, apparently. So we have... Oh, more pictures. Oh, look at that. Triptych. When you look closely at these pictures, <gasps> that genuinely made me jump. <laughs> the aroma of mercury comes back to you, and you remember. You didn't try to kill yourself. What? Someone tried to murder you and make it seem like a suicide. But who? And why? When you look closely at these pictures, the aroma of mercury comes back to you when you remember. You look behind these pictures, but you don't find anything. What's that on there? Is that a letter opener? You pick up the letter opener. Its blade is so dull that it's more like a letter ripper. Well, still a murder weapon, probably. Anything in here? Lamp. I'm learning to go slower. We have a telephone over there. We also have another room. Let's have a look at the telephone first. Can we pick it up? Mrs. Yesterday. Is that my wife or is that my mum? Hello, son. Have you arrived? Have you had dinner? How is the flight? Have you remembered anything? I have. Let's answer all of these questions first. The trip was oddly uncomfortable. Mr. White had reserved the entire first class section for me. And I had two flight attendants hovering over me the whole time. It was impossible to get any reading done. That must be awkward. Poor man, first class all alone. Guess what? On the plane, they offered me grapes for dessert. And? I tried them, Mom. They were delicious. How strange. When you were a little boy, you used to spit them in my face. But I'm glad you've finally come to like them, son. You've never eaten enough fruit. <laughs> it's getting into a bit of melodrama here. It's very strange, Mom. I've... You stop there. This is your mother. What good would it do to worry her? I've stopped remembering things since I met Mr. White. 
On my last visit, I stored something using a password that I can't remember now. Any ideas what it is? I don't know, son. Frank for your father, maybe. Elaine for me. Suzanne for that girlfriend you had. Or perhaps something having to do with Satanism. I don't know. What do we need a password for? Mom, I don't think I tried to kill myself. What are you saying, son? You stop yourself. You can't tell your mother that someone tried to kill you. It might have been an accident. Imagine that I broke a thermometer and that the mercury fell into a glass and then I drank from it without noticing and... John, John, you don't have to reassure me. I know that nothing will happen this time. I trust you. You're intelligent and strong. All right. Well, we've done that. We've, we've done with that conversation. So maybe the password... Is there a password on here or is it numbers? Oh, is it a key? Maybe it's a key. Maybe... Oh, maybe. Maybe. Opening this is going to be anything but easy. Maybe we can use this. The point of the letter opener far from sharp doesn't fit in the lock. Yeah, we, we're going to have to use a key, aren't we? Fountain pen. Try out the point of the fountain pen in the lock, but this doesn't help you open it. No, I didn't think so. Who else was there to call? Henry. I really don't want to call Henry White. He seems a bit shifty. He seems like he is the antagonist of the series, of the game. So let's do it anyway. John, how are you doing? Fine, Mr. White. Henry. To you, I'm just Henry. Yes, Henry, pardon me. Okay, Hel Hotel Albert. Who's Albert? We'll get to it. Let's go hotel first. The hotel is really over the top, Henry. Thank you. Over the top? You'll never change, John. That's exactly what you said to me the last time. The front desk clerk is a little odd, don't you think? I don't remember him. I'll have him fired, all right? No, no, don't do that. It's really nothing. Better. We all have a right to make a living. <laughs> is Albert that really weird one that was offering me services? When I was in New York, you mentioned my father. Did you ever meet him? Excuse me, John. What do you have for me, Cooper? A woman of about 50, passed out, drunk. In one piece? Almost. Take her to the generator room. I want her awake and calm. Call me when she's ready. Excuse me, John. Where were we? Ah, yes. Dementia is a very hard thing, but let's not talk about that, okay? Wow, he just talked to Cooper. Cooper was that big fat goon, wasn't it? Oh, what's going on with this game? I'm starting to remember things, Henry. Congratulations. I knew that this trip would help you. I just knew it. Fake suicide? I don't want to tell him about the fake suicide. But if I don't, you guys are going to have a go at me for not asking the right questions, so I'm going to do it for your sake, all right? I didn't try to kill myself, Henry. Someone forced me to swallow the mercury. What are you saying? I'll send a bodyguard. I'll call Lori. I'm sure we have someone in Paris. Don't leave the hotel. Someone will come for you. The last time I was in the hotel, I hid something. Interesting. What could it be? Well, call me if you find it. Remember that anything you turn up, no matter how minor, can help us save lives. And we're done. We are done with Mr. White. Front desk? Was it the front desk? Yeah, let's call the front desk. Oh, I can talk to my mum again. Let's talk to mum again first. Father. What really happened to my father? Was he crazy? Son, I would have preferred for you not to find out. I told you that your father died in the tragedy at Cadway Station. But that's not what really happened. Oh, I think one of you in the comments yesterday said that this guy, John, could be the kid of the crazy hobo that was going, John, my son John died here. Blah, blah. That might be right? Question mark? I mean, if it is, bravo, well done. As I've told you, your father was the world's leading expert on satanic sects. The best. He was my thesis director. That's how we met. It's true that your father was in Cadway when the station caved in, but he survived. And he stayed there, living in its ruins. I begged him to come back home, but it was no use. He said that the station was the only place he felt safe. Oh, it must be. It's got to be. After the collapse, your father was traumatized. He said that he was being persecuted by a satanic sect called the Unmentionable Ones. The last time I went to see him, I tried everything, but he didn't want to leave. He called me a heretic, and he disappeared without a trace. Frank yesterday was a great man, John. A true scholar, a good husband, and the best of fathers. He loved you very much, John. Just 
Don't make the same mistakes he did. Don't become a crazy hobo believing in sects. That's a hard word to say, sects. Right, what's through here? Is it the bathroom? I need to work out. I'm a bit skinny. Right, let's have a look at these nice products. Red wood. Reparative hand cream. Will this cream repair the scar on your hand? No, but whatever. How about that one? A bottle of cologne, expensive, no doubt. Let's grab that as well. It's not the first time you smelled this cologne. It smells like Henry and, without knowing exactly why, don't like it. All right, soap. You debate whether to take all the soap or not and end up compromising. Oh, come on, pick it up. One bar is enough. All right, fair enough. Um, can we use the tap? Turn it on. The steam from the hot water is immediately sucked into the extractor fan. All right. Can we use the soap with that? You can't quite see how making soap suds would help you. I mean, just have a wash. Rosemary oil. According to your books on Satanism, rosemary was used in different potions to achieve eternal life. Superstition or not, you take it. And take the towel as well. You take the towel like a common hotel towel thief. <laughs> I like it. Uh, what else is in here? Nice fancy flower. Ah, extractor fan. You try to remove the cover with your hand, but it's held in place with screws. Maybe this thing can unscrew it. You try removing the screws from the cover, but the end of the letter opener doesn't fit into the crosses on the heads of the screws. So we need a we need another screwdriver, unless we use the pen. That seems a bit abstract, though. The point of the fountain pen is too weak. Yeah. So I'm assuming we need to take that off. So to turn the turn the um, extractor fan off, so that the steam covers the mirror, maybe. Let's see if we can use this. We prefer not to get this wet. What about the towel? You prefer not to get this wet. Oh, that noise is a bit scary. Can we turn it on again? Parisian water comes out really cold. All right, can we use the soap with the cold water? No. What's this? Can I use it with me? I prefer not to get this wet. Can I use that with a towel? No, can I use the towel with anything? No. Okay, so I guess we have to leave. Let's get. There was somewhere else to go, wasn't there? Let's go out. Oh, there's the door. I do like the animations in this game. It's um satisfying. Just gonna peruse this room once more before I go into the next bit. I think we're done. I think we're done in here. Let's go here. Oh, we're on a balcony. What's that say? A welcome card, champagne, and a facsimile edition of Paradise Lost with illustrations by Gustave Doré. Let's grab it all. Suddenly you remember yourself cutting something out of a card, just like this one. You pick it up. Can I look at it? Welcome card. Can't actually read that myself. We wish you a pleasant and comfortable stay with us, Hotel Dove. Is it Dove? 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 Not too sure. Grab something else. Spot of champagne? No, there's nothing to celebrate at the moment. What about that glass? That's just the same, isn't it? Oh, you leave through the book and marvel to yourself. It's a real gem. I'm going to click again. No, we've done that. We go in the pool. A jacuzzi. More like a hot tub since jacuzzi is just the most famous brand. Really? You learn something every day. I did not know that. Let's use it. You'll take a bath when you find out what you've hit, what you've hidden, not before. So we need to find a screwdriver or something. Oh, what's this? This looks... Okay. The control panel for the jacuzzi. Can we use it? Does it work? It does work. Let's put some... Let's put some of this in there. No? Soap? A bubble bath some other time. Okay, what about this then? What about the towel? Don't know why I'm doing that, to be honest. Do we get in now? You'll take a bath when you find out what you've hidden up before. Okay. So 
But what else can we see? I mean, look at this. That's pretty cool. Stone is rough. Okay. We feel around in vain for some kind of secret mechanism. No. He did say feel around in vain. Maybe I can rub it. Rub the horse. Oh, chip away at the horse. Oh, yes. Oh, sparks. Interesting. What's that doing? Oh, is that finding it down? I could probably use that as a screwdriver now. Or, or maybe not. Stone is so rough that it wears down the end of the letter opener remarkably fast. Do you think that I could use that as a... As a screwdriver? Let's use the towel on it to smooth it down. No, I don't need to do that. Let's just have a look at the view. Oh, I can go there. The Montreal City Hall was about to buy it and move it to Quebec. An urban legend? Probably, but who knows. Is that true? I know nothing about the Eiffel Tower. Paris is somewhere I've never been before. Is it nice? I'd love to go. It's like a couple of hours from here, isn't it? On the, uh, on the underwater drain, <laughs> as it's officially called. It's closed at this hour. You'll visit it, visit it some other time. What's that? The L'Hôtel National de Invalide. That's exactly how you're supposed to say it. The first thing you visit in Paris won't be that, but rather Notre Dame. Fair enough. Anything else? All right, I think I'm going to go back and try this letter opener on the screw. In fact, let's try it in here first. Let's try it on the safe. Although you've sharpened the point of the letter opener, you would have had to have filed it into exactly the shape of the original key to get the safety deposit box to open. That's fair enough. So I'm going to try and use it as a screwdriver. I don't know why I'm doing this, though. That's the thing. Oh, you fit the tip of the letter opener into the crosses on the heads of the screws and... And now I have some screws. What would I need screws for? Oh, and I have that as well. Extractor fan cover. So what do I need to do with that? One of those extractor fans that come on automatically when you turn the light on. If you stick your hand in there, you can say goodbye to your Y. I kind of want to just stop it. That noise is irritating. Fountain pen? No. This. If you put this between the fan blades, it'll break. Can I put that up there? It's still not time to screw the cover on again. I want to stop it. How do I stop? Mm, towel, maybe. Where's the towel in there? You insert the towel with care so that it blocks the movement of the blade of the fan blades. And screw the cover back on. Now we can turn this on for reasons unknown. I'm going to do it anyway. So it's nice and misty. Oh, there we go. <laughs> now it's white. Alchemy. Is that a password? Alchemy. Now you remember. It was you who wrote the word there by mixing lotion with oil so it wouldn't be easy to clean off. Okay, so lotion with oil. Lotion with oil. So why have we why have we got the word alchemy? Well, maybe it's this. Um, I'm just just seeing if anything happens. You don't care to perfume this, and you don't care to perfume this. Okay, can we perfume the perfume the soap? No. I think I'm going to go back here, and he said something about a password, didn't he? What got the password? Maybe it's on here. Maybe there's a password on there suitcase you could reread the books on satanic sex but at this point you know what's in them by heart anything else no look at the suitcase is full of clothes that your ultra protective mother packed for you and books that henry sent to you help you in your investigation well that's not very helpful i guess i could i mean let's call my let's call somebody surely there's got to be someone we can talk to Front desk. I haven't called. Oh, I haven't spoken to them before. Oh, password. I've op I've opened stuff up. I didn't even know it was there. What do you know about my suicide attempt? Nothing. Well, that Mister White found you, and he took you to a hospital in some kind of private ambulance. He made sure no one was the wiser. We don't want any scandals here. 
Did I have any visitors? Not a single one, monsieur, yesterday. I'm sorry to say that your behavior was very boring, despite the fact that I dropped the price of my very best girls as much as 20%. Have you had that change of heart? No, thank you. 25%? 30 Who's been in the room since my previous visit? Only Mr. White, the maid, Matthew from Maintenance, and me. But not a single guest. Someone has to clean the room, even if there are no guests, sir. By the way, if you're interested in her, be in the room tomorrow when she comes to clean it. She's new and frisky. Free fan dance on the first visit. I do not like this guy. I just went to leave a small welcome gift on the terrace a little while ago, monsieur. All right. The maid noticed that the extractor fan in the bathroom was not working, so I sent Matthew to fix it. Um, all right, fair enough. Mr. White came to the hotel because you called him. He went up to the room, and that was when he found you half dead. I don't believe him. I, he's in on it. You know what? They're all in on it. All four of them. They're all in some weird cult. Is this hotel named after Gustave Doré, the artist? Mais non. It's named after, uh, well, another Doré, who's also an artist in his own way. The funny thing is that he's a great-great-grandson of the original Doré. I know that you have an envelope for me. Of course, Monsieur Yesterday. But as per your instructions, you have to say two words before I can give it to you. Oh, no. Two words? I'm going to say... Alchemy. Good. That's one of the words. Frank? And the other... Frank, I reckon. I'm going to say Frank. No. Oh. That is not one of the two words. You tell yourself that it would be stupid to continue giving random passwords. Although you don't know yourself very well, <laughs> it's where that you would have hidden the password somewhere in the suite. So, I mean, it's got to be in that... Um, let's try it. Let's say why. I'm sorry to say that the password uh. does not include that word. Uh, um, it's, let's, let's try all the I names. I see that you still can't remember. I'm sorry. What was, your, what was your other name, Suzanne? I'm sorry to say that the password hey. does not include that word. No, okay, let's get out of here. Oh, Mercury, no, no, let's just get out of here. It doesn't seem right. So we've got, we've got alchemy. And we just need to open this. We need to open this. Maybe, maybe there's something else back out here that I've missed. Let's try. Um, let's just try putting things in here. No. Maybe I try the maybe I try the pen with a card. Oh, writing things down—a great tool for someone with amnesia. The problem is that you still haven't remembered anything worth writing down. Maybe I can use the pen with the writing pad. You don't remember anything worth writing down. Um. Welcome card. Could use a well. Maybe, maybe there's like some kind of, um, you know, when you use lemon on a on a card, and it goes invisible ink wise. Maybe I have to do that. No, I think I'm. I think I'm reaching. What else could we do? Well, maybe you don't care to take a bath. Well, let's turn it off. You choose not to shut off the jacuzzi, it sounds... The sound relaxes you. Okay, is there anything else over here? What, about, what was the book all about? Oh, I, I did something wrong then. Let's write on the book. No. Let's put oil on the book. What is this? Rosemary oil. And that's hand cream. And that's soap. Okay. Well, we've got one password, and we still need to get another. So, this handsome chap here is going to be standing outside in the cold till the next episode. So, we're going to leave it there, guys. Um, if you have any ideas, feel free to write them down in the comments below. I will be taking a few uh, a few nudges left, right, and centre. Um, and until next time, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, whatever it is you're doing right now. And take care.